Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Nerd Variety Podcast. What's up? How's it going? I'm Josh, and I am joined by two people. Uh, first off, we have uh, Hayden Revenger Rafferty. Yes. Hey, I'm. I didn't know I made it. I didn't know I made it into the Revengers. Uh, I'm. Ex- I'm excited about that. I'm well, excited. Have you, to have wanted, been have you wanted revenge before? Huh? Have you wanted revenge before? I know you wanted revenge before. Never. I'm not a. I'm not a vengeful person. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> and over here we have uh, instead of Hannah, we have Matthew Mephisto Burton. Why I gotta be Mephisto? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold because up. We, we still haven't mean? gotten Mephisto anywhere. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's right, everybody. Mephisto. There is Mephisto. Is you know being referenced here in the instead of. Instead of being alluded to, like everyone thinks he's in the MCU, but yeah, it's it's Matt. It's been Matt the whole time. Bro, like, isn't he basically the Marvel devil? He is a high-ranking demon. What? Why would you give me that? <laughs> you can ask them. I've given them weird names. I mean, I've listened to the podcast, so I know. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. But Mephisto of all things, uh, it, it was Marvel. It worked just like Revenger was was that was like that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, okay. We just kind of. What's up, people? I'm back. It's good to be here. I can't wait to get into this. This is going to be fun. Yeah. And speaking of, and we're glad to have you back. It's been a while. Yeah, it has. Yeah. Um, speaking of getting into it, we are, we didn't say what we're talking about yet, did we? Well, I would hope with all the Marvel references that they would see we were talking about something MC related. And we're talking about what if. Um, yeah, Hannah couldn't join us this week. Uh, she's still... Uh, kind of got some stuff going on. Something about trying to fix, uh, trying to, to break a fixed point in time. I'm sure it won't have anything to do with our reality or any consequences, you know. I knew she was working on the time machine. I knew it. I knew it. I said it since the first day I met her. She's going to work on the time machine. Uh, yeah. With all the, yeah, all the physics ma- majoring she does, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, but, uh, yeah we're talking about uh, the What If uh, show that just uh, ra- uh, wrapped its first season. Uh, we all watched it and we I'll have our thoughts that we want to share. Uh, so yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I love you know multiverse, alternate timeline stuff. And if you listen to the podcast, you heard a lot of us talk about that a lot in the show. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I I personally loved it. I one of the things that I love so much about it is that we I was under the impression we were only getting one episode of Chadwick Boseman rest in peace Mm -hmm. i was under the impression we only get one episode we ended up with like four or five which i thought was great and all of them were great every episode one through nine was amazing but like those four i I thought were really good yeah yeah. i i didn't realize that he was going to be in it maybe i missed that somewhere but i was i was really very happy with those and that was awesome to know that he was he was still able to voice those Episodes. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the uh, the um, MCU characters weren't voiced by their by their you know on screen actors, but I'm glad that he got that was our that's our that was kind of our last hurrah with him, and some and, and in a role that was more fun than his uh you know uh, than his Black Panther than his role yeah. as Black Panther. He was way more comedic, like not as serious, which I thought was cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I I was actually also rather surprised at how many you say not all of them but mm-hmm. there were a lot of the characters that were voiced by their their yeah. live action actors um, oh yeah. yeah which some of them i really didn't expect like what natalie oh. portman and chris hemsworth uh, voiced their characters right yeah. i'm pretty sure chris hemsworth did but I, i'm not sure natalie portman did some we can someone can probably you know fact check that when, uh, when they get it, it, when they get it may second. not have been natalie portman but i remember thinking there was something about her um but yeah there were there were a few where i was i was very surprised about um yeah but, I, I thought it was so cool and a lot like if you listened to the podcast before you know that i'm an mma fighter so for them to bring george st pierre back to voice uh backtrack or the botrock yeah yeah botrock Botrock the leaper yeah to have them bring him back to voice him was really cool to me because i figured you know he'd be just a movie presence but when i saw his name in the opening credits i was like okay this is cool yeah yeah 
even for just a, just one episode or a few lines, it's yeah. it's it's enough to be it's it's it means a lot to us who've been watching since you know Iron Man. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, what was your? Do you have like a single favorite episode, or what was your favorite like? At least, what was your favorite at least idea that they used for a what if? Uh, let's see. Whether it was done the best it could have been or not. I'm looking at, let's see. I like, you know, of course, what if uh, T'Challa became a Star-Lord. Mm-hmm. Uh, I liked the Doctor Strange episode of him losing his heart instead of his hands. Um, let's see. I did enjoy the Killmonger one as well. And I liked uh, Ultra, the Ultra Vision episode too. I really liked that one. Um, I thought that they all had like, like seeing like Killmonger get to f- fulfill his dream. Even it's a bad, it's a bad way of, of calling it, but you know, going through uh, finishing his mission to become Prince of Wakanda and get control, get control of Wakanda and fulfill it and go out for his mission. How despite how bad it was, I liked. You know, we got uh, to see T'Challa work with like outer space, the outer space crew, like you know the people from Guardians and Thanos and all those other characters. Uh, and then I liked, you know, uh, seeing how bad it could be with Vision, with Ult- with Ultron Vision having all in the Infinity Stones and fighting the Watcher. That was just that was just a badass episode. Yeah, right. and seeing evil and seeing e- e- corrupt Doctor Strange. Yeah, that that to me, as much as I love T'Challa and Black Panther and all, like I love everything Marvel, but like Black Panther really hits home for me. But um. That was probably my favorite episode was the Doctor Strange episode because it it showed like what he was willing to do for love and then to try to correct it every time and it just kept getting worse and worse until he just like like Josh said lost his heart. I thought that was really cool. One of the things I thought was really cool was um in the Ultra Ultron Vision episode, Ultron just takes out. Uh, Thanos with the oh, Soul Stone, and I'm God. like, bro, you can do that. <laughs> the Mind Stone, yeah. That was, yeah. That was the Mind Stone. Yeah, the Mind yeah. Stone, and I'm yeah. just like, he, like, why didn't they do that? Like, they can do that. Well, if you think about it, he went for the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> That's the difference between Thanos and uh, and Thor. Thanos right, goes for the head. Thor? You mean Ultron or Ultron Vision and Thor? Uh, I'm sorry, that was that was just the difference in uh, Infinity War. That was the difference between Ultron. I mean, uh, Thanos and Thor. Yeah, um, yeah. Thanos went for uh, Vision's head immediately. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess they both had the same idea: go for the head. Oh, <laughs> I also, I also did like how you know. In the Hawkeye episode, Hawkeye and uh, Black Widow episode, the roles were kind of reversed. Where we saw an in game where Natasha sacrificed herself, but in in the episode, mm-hmm. in the What If episode, it was the other way around where Hawkeye sacrificed himself for her. Yeah, and I thought that was I thought that was a neat little twist they put on. Yeah, he went out. G. That was that, that was episode good. in general, just like. That was that was crazy <laughs> to me. Yeah, yeah. Because you know that was where. Well, that was the first time near the end when they showed like, oh, this is not over. <laughs> this is not its own story. This right. is yeah. connecting to everything else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, I I love that moment too where we see <laughs> where the watcher is talking. And then Vision or uh, Ultron's just like, wait, who said that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. I was like, I I was watching that, and like as he when he did that, I go, oh, oh, <laughs> I'm like, oh no. It's like having a like like you're you're like watching a, like hang while watching a, a kid, and you're talking about something that you use like they 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 won't catch this reference or they won't understand what I'm talking about at all, and then they kind of like give you feedback on what you said, and like oh 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 shoot. 
Well, yeah, like oh, like you snap. you can understand what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. And the same, and, the, and also in the uh, Doctor Strange episode, like he was able to start to sense uh, the, uh, the Watcher yeah. as he got more, yeah. you know, over overpowered. Yeah, and again, like you know, as he was like, I think it was as the universe, you know, was like crumbling in on itself, or you know, kind of coming yeah. on him. I think like, that yeah. was it. Then where he was like, "Hey, you can help me. You can stop this." It was it was actually like twice he sensed him before, like while he was while he was working on like learning how to absorb magical creatures, and he was like, he sensed him, but he couldn't exactly tell. It was like hearing a whisper for him, mm-hmm. and Watcher was like, "Oh, oh crap!" Kind of like how Thor was when Cap was able to like slightly nudge like to to like move the hammer a little bit, yeah. and then he was like, then when Strange like finally like looked up and was like able to focus on him, it was like, "Help me, help me save my world." I was like, "No, nah, man, you you did it, you did this yourself. I, I ain't I ain't fixing up your mess." Yeah, yeah, but you know, again that that was a good episode. That one also took a, a turn that I didn't expect. The Doctor Strange one when he. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, what if he lost his heart instead of his hands? I'm like, eh. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, he's going, like, to a whole other place here. Yeah, yeah. He went way off the deep end. Yeah, way off the deep end. I'm just going to eat all, all, as many magical beings and just absorb all of them into my body, like, still. (laughs) Quick confirmation. Natalie Portman did release um, her character. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, I, I thought so, because when I was listening, when I was watching the episode, I was like, I don't think that's Natalie Portman, but she also, I don't feel she has a particularly distinctive voice. Right, right, right. So yeah, watch yeah, also, also, it's voice acting, so they sound a little bit different anyway mm-hmm. than they would live action, because I kept telling myself, I kept going back and forth on, the, to, on Chadwick's performance. I'm like, it sounds like him, but then again, it kind of doesn't. But I, I'm chalking that up to it being voice acting, right? Because I knew it was him, yeah. But it it sounded slightly different, yeah. Because only slightly. Because someone you can do you can do like that accent, but it was him, it but it was him for that like like him, Natalie Portman, and some other characters like that. It was them, but they're all people that voice matched, um, like the person people who did Chris Evans, Tony. Uh, sorry. Steve Rogers, Tony Stark, and uh, Natasha's characters, like those were the people who sounded who sound a lot like them, right. and the person who did uh, Ultron, because that that wasn't James Spader, right? Though yeah. that would be dope if he came back. Yeah, but yeah, so it sounds like we all pretty much <laughs> I feel like the best one was, and again, even saying best is kind of difficult, but I feel like we all kind of agree on uh, the Doctor Strange one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because, again, like, it surprised me too. As I was saying, he was just like so nonchalant about the whole thing. Like, okay, I'm just gonna consume all these demons and stuff yeah, and yeah. creatures. It's like, the old okay, off an evil demon, and I was like, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna eat you, but I will take your cake. Yeah, nice cake. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> um, y'all wanna. Do y'all want to go, since we talked about favorite episode, do y'all want to talk about favorite moment from the show in general? Mm, sure, yeah. I, I have to think about that for a second. Oh, okay. I have a, I have a couple. Well, yeah. What's uh, here? What you got? What you got? Matt? Okay, so one of my favorite moments was the fight between Watcher and Ultron, Ultron Vision, because I yeah. was like, oh, because, you know, we always see the Watcher watching but like you know his thing his whole thing is i can't interfere but then when he actually has to fight for himself he just goes all out and it was like god mode activated yeah it was <laughs> it, that was super cool for me and then like when ultron's talking about you don't have the will to fight me and watchers like you can't even fathom my will i was like Shoot, oh this got real yeah okay yeah. then it went straight like <laughs> anime fight yep. slash god god versus god fight <laughs> yeah that that got pretty crazy because i was kind of like at first i was just thinking like i mean i'm sure the watcher is powerful but he probably doesn't have much in terms of like fighting ability and then it's like oh no he can he can do some stuff <laughs> yeah 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 i mean i don't think he has to fight other like beings like him so he wasn't that's why he kind of backed out of the fight uh, but that was that was an awesome like fight. I don't think we'll ever see anything like that in live action. Um, no, I don't think we will either. <laughs> no. Um, G, 
you have any other moments that you were like? I have like two more. The the Gamora in the, the like the Thanos gear, that was really cool to me just because it just added to her badassness, and I was just like, okay, I'm cool with that. Yeah. And then that was supposed to be an episode by itself, but they're gonna move that to season two. Gotcha. So we will see helicopter blades, <laughs> Gamora, uh, uh, who and figure out what all happened with her uh, in the next season. Yeah. And then the. What was the, there was one more that I wanted to talk about. If I think about it, y'all, y'all can well, that to me, but y'all go ahead because I cannot remember it right now for the life of me. You know, I've I've only seen it once through so far. I should rewatch the whole thing all the way through, um, just to I get pay attention to it as much detail as I could because I knew like little things were gonna pop up with it being alternate timeline stuff. So I tried to pay it as much attention as I could. Yeah. Matter of fact, I watched the last episode twice just to make sure I had it. Yeah, each episode had callbacks to other like sh- scenes in the movies and, and lines in the movies. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I did like the... Yeah, that was the one. Um, I liked the... I, well, I was almost going to call it the Tony Stark one, but it was more the Killmonger one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, that was interesting just all around seeing how he did because you know he was he's pretty awesome i will say yeah yeah killmonger is a is a like it's like an int level chess player like yeah. he he went from and like it was bad enough where he was like in like the, the main mcu timeline but he started early like before anything else any, any other heroes got to earth or got on the ground like he, you know, started. He started with he. He started with Iron Man, who started everything in, uh, in the movies, and he worked his way through. And he just, you know, twisted everything to work to, to how he wanted to go. Yeah, I thought that was cool too. Yeah, like Killmonger is one of those characters for me. Like, you love him, but you know, it's like, dude, dude, you don't have to do it this way. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's another way. Yeah. Like, don't do that. But like, he's great. Yeah, and apparently he's supposed to be coming back for Black Panther two somehow. Um, I saw an article about that, but I don't know how true it is. Yeah. But, uh, oh, I remember my my other one of my other favorite moments. Me and Josh have talked about this, where uh, in the if T'Challa was Star Lord episode, where all when they're all in that bar and Thanos just walks up and they all <laughs> and they're all just buddy buddy with them and he's yeah. like, oh yeah, T'Challa helped me see the air of my ways and blah blah blah. We had a conversation. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's funny, but what? I thought like, it was. It just kind of threw me for a loop. Yeah. In a good, in a good way. It's like having a conversation, sitting Hitler down, having a conversation with him. It's like yeah. we had talking. Now we work things out. We he we, we he has a better understanding now. But he but but then it still had that that inkling of that idea that yeah. he still liked to toss that theory around. Like, well, we just. Yeah. Half the gal- half the universe population, and there'll yeah. be more resources. But, but that that but, was an interesting thing about Thanos, you know, in that one, because yeah, you know, you do feel like, well, he's, you know, he's not a threat anymore. He's helping to get us, but then he comes back with that stuff, and so you're like, okay, <laughs> I really hope he can continue to keep Thanos in line. <laughs> like, buddy, we talked about this. It's like, more, we talk about this let it go it's like he has this, he still has that idea like maybe it, it seems like a good idea but it's like everybody like no dude that's genocide <laughs> <laughs> it's killing half it's killing people yeah <laughs> um, um, people. yeah you're right <laughs> but but yeah, it, was, it was just in general it was all really interesting uh i, I thought you know the uh so much of the Doctor Strange episode had had some really cool moments just when you see him like really like you really see his physical change. Yeah. Um, and I mean, also, though, I, I'm trying not to give so many <laughs> so much credit to the final episode just because I feel like it's too easy almost. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. there was so much in that episode yeah 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 it was that whole episode was great because it had so much action and so much of like all like all the all the the uh 
the characters he chose the who became the guardians of the multiverse they were all like you know like stacked characters that could who could do a whole lot and they they all tie all of them together teaming up teaming up on i call them ultra vision uh just like molly whopping him through for a good a good few minutes and it was just like wow they're like <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it 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 would only it would it could only could have, could have only been them to really to get to get yeah, to stop yeah. him. And this is one thing that I wanted to say about about the last episode because, like you said, Hayden, I'm I'm not trying I'm trying not to give it so much credit, but the end of it with Killmonger doing what he did, I'm like, mm-hmm. bro, come on! It was this like is, this is supposed to be alternate version. I mean, you don't have to do the same thing. Like, do you, something different, please. Man, it was like if Thor hadn't brought that 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 uh sentry, that uh, that uh that old uh, that uh drone head there, and then seeing him look at it and him seeing him tinker with them, I was like, that, 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 and, but you but you immediately forget about it as the action starts building up as yep, as a kid yep. just fighting to get the, to get the stones away from him. Because and then as soon as he walks and then he holds it up, as soon as he holds it up, it's like, oh no, yep, oh no. Yep. I said, I said, hmm, he's going to use it for good, and nothing bad is going to come out after this. After they beat mm-hmm. Ultra Vision, I'm like, it'll be good. And then he did what he did, and I'm like, oh, like, dude, you couldn't why? just, you couldn't just, uh, no, you yeah. couldn't just lift it alone. Yeah, at least, he, at least he won't have to go back. To, at least he does. He's not a right. He's not gonna cause more problems in the universe he came from. Yeah, one of one of my favorite lines was was uh, T'Challa being like, "What are you doing, cousin?" And he's like, "I'm not your cousin. Sorry." <laughs> and then have like tries to blow everybody it's up. Like, you're gonna kill your cousin again? Like, come on, man. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, um two, two episodes i don't think we, we've had we talked about a lot they're, they don't they they stand out but they're not like i guess uh, they don't stand out as much but the what the uh kind of the whodunit episode uh where all the avengers die in, in during fury's big week oh yeah i oh. you know what? i loved that yeah yeah that was a really good i episode. was like who who's killing these people and then it was then it kind of dawned on me like uh it, i really didn't get it until like he went to um, a host grave site. It's yeah. Like, oh crap! It's Hank. Yeah. And he's in. And he's. But I wasn't expecting him to be in the yellow jacket suit either. Right. right. I, I think that was the, the moment that we all were like, "Yep, yeah, it's Hank." Yeah. yeah. God dang it, Hank. Yeah. <laughs> we should have said spoilers before we started this, but we'll put that in the episode description. Yeah. Um, we will. Yeah. We. <laughs> I didn't look at that. Yeah, I, I will. Um, yeah, no, that was that was a good one. It made me think of Deadpool kills the Marvel universe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All those, you know, if, what if uh, Punisher kills, uh, yeah. Deadpool kills, Wolverine kills? They, they, uh, they all get just murked in like I, the worst ways. Like I was not expecting. Like I was really surprised when Hulk exploded. It's like. That he they can do that. Like, yeah, I was not expecting that. At how did all. how did someone kill Hulk? Like, damn. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that at all. That threw me for a loop. I was like, huh? What? Okay. Um. All right. What is happening? I will say this: I would love to see a Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe like series or like animated series or movie because I just think that would be wild. I think it would be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think it, it would be. Too. It would be. Especially if they stick to the comic book. I actually have the comic book at home. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have it, but I've I've read it. Mm-hmm. I really liked it. Um, I ha- and I would also love to see Deadpool versus Black Panther. That's one I'm reading right now, and it's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, I, would, uh, I just think we need <laughs> Deadpool actually in the MCU, finally. He, he's in there. I, I Just how are they going to introduce him in there like yeah. as a for crossovers or for his solo thing like that's the question i have no i have way some, home I have some, pops up just a fanboy out that 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 would be cool <laughs> like if he if at the end of no way home he, he like pops in through a portal somehow yeah and just fanboys out or in like doctor strange too that would be dope i'm sorry did you see let there be carnage yeah, yes. we, yeah, we saw, yes, yeah, we saw, we that. saw that. Yeah. Okay, we don't necessarily need to go into those spoilers, but no. that post credit scene. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I was like, I wonder what what it could Perfect. be exactly, but it was like, okay, this this uh, builds on some things that I was not 
expecting to happen for for a minute <laughs> yeah you know it's still even after though i feel like it leaves you in a place where you're like what <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah so this what and how yeah mm. so we were we were sitting there in the theater watching it and see we had already been told to stay you know which we were going to do anyway but yeah. we yeah. got told you know reassured to stay and so like we were watching it and then we both just look at each other we're like oh oh boy here we go yeah game game changer (laughs) yep absolute game changer yep again that will be saved for another time venom is or let there be carnage is still relatively new so we're gonna we'll get into that a little later in the year maybe when we recap uh this year in mcu yeah yeah um uh, but yeah, like- still going forward, we have is it three, three movies? Just, um, two, just two more movies: Eternals and No Way Home. This year, I thought we, I thought there was another one. No, Shang Chi came out last month, and yeah. Eternals comes out next month, and Spider Man comes out next in, in December. I don't know what the other one I was imagining was this year. I don't know either. Well, Maybe you have, kinda... have the Hawkeye series. Yeah, that's uh that's in like a week or two, right? Uh, I think end of November or end of this or somewhere in December. I'm not exactly sure. I thought it was in October. I don't think it's I don't think I don't think it's October. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's November or December. It had like a holiday theme to it, so mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you can do that. You can start in October and then lead into that. I mean, that's what Walmart does. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just saw my first Christmas commercial, I think, last night. It's just like, oh, God. Oh, I was like, oh, God, it's starting. starting. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess you're right. It's end of November. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, later than I thought it was. I don't know why I was thinking October. Which is um, should myself in Christmas. So we, uh, we talked about the good stuff about what if. Did anybody have any downsides to it? Did so, anybody see anything they thought was, you know, just kind of eh? So I was, I was kind of eh about Captain Carter, to be honest, and her whole first episode. Like it had its moments, but I was just kind of like, okay, it's it's mm-hmm. basically the same story as Captain America, the first Avenger, except it was, you know, they were switched, right, right. and um, Steve had like the the Iron Man suit thing. Yeah, which was dope. I like you know seeing yeah. them you know team up and stuff. But it was just it was kind of like kept uh, like the first like actually the first Avenger movie. It was it was it was fun, yeah. but you know it's not something that you really really want to like you know dive into. To, it's not you know high, it's not that it's not hype producing as other one as yeah. other things are. Yeah, it was a good little starter, but you know. Yeah, it yeah. got me interested, but I was kind of just that's cool. Yeah, you know. The one, the one that was kind of a downer for me was the zombies. One. Yeah, that, I was gonna, I was that, gonna bring that up too because <laughs> it was like it was good, but it just wasn't, it wasn't as captivating to me because it's like okay, it well, really should have been something they they if some if they could have done that and like like how DC does their animated movies where they go balls to the walls with the gore and yeah. the and the violence and stuff. That's but, what that's what that should have been saved for. I liked how they had you know kind of like they had people that survived and how they worked together. Um, but I just, you know, I feel like it could have been a little more. And there was like humor in there that didn't need to be there with, with, yeah. Ant, with you know, Scott's head. So it was yeah. just, eh. they, they, I feel like it would have been a lot better had they fleshed it out. more. Yeah, that could have been its own, its own like animated movie. Yeah, yeah. I feel like they just didn't, or series. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they just didn't make the most of Marvel zombies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Because wasn't that written by Robert Kirkman? Mm-hmm. So, come on, Walking Dead, Marvel Zombies. And then they don't, they really didn't even touch on the fact that some of them retain their powers and know how to use them. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that, 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 that is where the episode lost me. Because I was like, well, they do. Because you see, you know, Wanda is still using her. I, no, magic. I know like, that I they're using them, but they don't explain how they were able to attain them. Oh, yeah. That's what I was. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was I was gonna bring it up actually because in terms of moments that were a little disappointing, like I get it, I get why they did it this way, but I was hoping it was gonna be a much better moment 
in the last one when uh, they brought in Scarlet Witch to fight Ultron. And it did, like, she did nothing. They brought in zombie Scarlet Witch and she did, like, nothing. Yeah. I, and she would have put up a good fight. I think I'm, I'm, in my head, I was watching, I was like, yeah, he's just going to end that fight in, like, in that fight before it can begin because she's she she has the potential to wreck to wreck his, his stuff yeah mm-hmm. yeah just go just go ahead and kill the destroy the whole universe don't 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 even don't even think about it <laughs> yeah i mean i didn't i i forgot about that yeah that was yeah. definitely a downer for me because like you see it for like a split second and then nothing like it's, yeah it's, yeah well, i think they were supposed to also have it was it was they're supposed to have like Spider-Man from that universe, like with Doctor Strange's cape on. He was supposed to show up with the Guardians, with the Guardians of the Multiverse, um, and yeah, so they, they, I think they just ended up cutting cutting that part out. Yeah. Well, I I kind of was also just I don't know, and I wasn't too excited about it going into it. Um, I'm curious, what did you guys feel about Thor's episode? What if Thor was only child? I loved it. I thought it was absolutely hilarious, especially when Loki actually shows up. I was like, where's this gonna go? And then they just start broing out and it's like, "Ah, that's pretty funny. Yeah, I like the uh the what the part the the kind of the part the episode the whole episode was themed around like the house party like like trope. Uh, that you'll, that you'll see. Rat boy living style type. Well, more so like the high schooler throws a party while parents are away and, and then he has to clean, clean up. up before they get caught. Yeah. The parents, parents are coming home like instead yeah. of that tomorrow, they're coming home tonight. It's like, oh crap. Wait, that was, you know, I was just trying to remember which episode it was that Captain Marvel showed up and that was that one. Well, yeah. she shows up at the end of um, episode three. and um, Did she? Yeah, yeah, she shows up because because yeah. you, you see them, uh, you see like her and Captain America fighting off Loki, off the uh, Guardians in the when Natasha is sent to that universe. Yeah, okay. episode three was uh, the, where they killed off the MCU or the the Marvel universe. Where they killed off? Well, no, they killed off the Avengers before they could start because before they could avenge. Yeah. yeah. Um. But no, I yeah, I guess I I don't know. In that one, it just felt like. I get it, but my whole thing was, uh, I don't really, and then why is it, why is Thor better? Why is that Thor better to be chosen for the, to defend the multiverse than like Thor who had Loki as a brother? I don't know. Maybe it's because of him being more just uh, more of a, a, a looser Thor, like, you have like if he didn't have if he didn't really have to his brother challenging him to be more to be more responsible to be more on his toes or to like have to fight for kingship, uh, and he was just more you know cut loose with his with his powers and maybe that was better. I don't know. But I mean, you know, it's one of those things. Like again, he I understand why they did it, but it felt like it was an episode that was entirely made for for it just to be comedic and it didn't really it didn't feel like it had a lot of substance to it in my opinion yeah not yeah. not until the end i did like the thor captain marvel fight that was cool because that's not something we'll, we'll ever see in, in live action but really? that was that was fun but actually that when, ending was when they first actually connected it right hmm that ending was actually when they technically first connected it. It was actually technically connected in What If Ultron 1, I think. Well, yeah. But in, yeah, because... No, no, and at the end of the, the Party Thor episode that you, he he start, he has to, he, he sees vi, uh, Ultra yeah, Vision. Ultron comes through. Yeah. yeah. That. But yeah, again, I mean, what I, was, what I was saying is, that's what I was saying originally, but then it's like technically that wasn't connecting to the next one until we had seen that happen in the next one and then that connected it so right and it's like because like you say it wasn't connected at first because i i was thinking they were all going to be one off episodes you Mm -hmm. know yeah and then they started connecting it's like okay where's it going and then to be able to see how it connected and how it finished was pretty cool oh yeah 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 but yeah, so were there any other like in particular moments 
that you were underwhelmed by or you just think could have done better? Um, <laughs> I was kind of expecting them to have like, I don't know, I was like at the end of that, at the end of the third episode, I was like, okay, who else could they pick to like have as a, to have to as replacement Avengers at when since they killed off you know Tony Hawkeye, you know mm -hmm. Tony Hawkeye, Thor, Hulk, and, and Natasha. So I was like, okay, now they so they have Captain America, and Captain Marvel. Who else would would have been active around that time? Um, Rhodey would have been a good would have been you know a good pick. Mm -hmm. um, Black Panther would have been you know around. Mm -hmm. Rhodey wasn't really a, an Avenger at that time, right? No, no, be he, but that was that scene where Iron Man and uh, uh, Nick Fury are in the cafe was right after the party where in Iron Man two where he where Rhodey had took uh, taken the armor. Right, was so. that when they killed him? I thought that was in the other episode. No, yeah, you're right. I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. And then uh, you know, Black Panther was still active. It was active around that time, so you know they could have you know been like, hey, you know. You know, as guardians are you know taking over, you're gonna which which are you gonna you gonna help us out and like yeah sure I'll help out. One of the things I wish they had done that I thought would be absolutely hilarious is because it was alternate timeline, alternate universe. I mean, was ha do the white Nick Fury, but have Samuel L. Jackson voice him. <laughs> that would have been freaking hilarious. <laughs> kind of like how he voices the got the character in the Moondogs. Yeah, yeah, how he yeah. Voices uh. Jen Rummy in the boondocks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, would, that would have been funny. I didn't even think about that. I keep forgetting about, to me, like, Sam Jackson is just, like, he's such a good Nick Fury. Yeah, he <laughs> yeah, is. yeah. That's why, I, 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 at first, I was going to say, take him take him out of it and do, like, the, the original one from, like, the 90s Spider-Man cartoon. Yeah. But yeah. then I was like, no, I don't want... Sam Jackson not to be Nick Fury. Yeah, so yeah. what we do is we do the 90s Nick Fury from Spider-Man, but have Samuel L. Jackson voice him. And that that to me would be would have been absolutely hilarious. That would have been like a good reference, but also yeah, Nick Sam Jackson is still Nick Fury and he, he will be until whatever until they until Marvel says says no. Yeah, or until he decides to Marvel and say no. Yeah. All right. Before we wrap this up, because it has been like 40 minutes um or maybe a little close i don't know exactly how long um but before we finish um okay last round of questions here okay okay if you had if you could make one what if episode or one what if concept doesn't have to be a realistic one that you expect to see in next season, mm -hmm. but if you could just come up with the most ridiculous concept that you think would be a lot of fun, what would it be? What if Wolverine and Deadpool switch places? Sorry, what if Wolverine and Deadpool what? Switch places. Does this, does this have to be like a potential MCU episode or like a potential what if episode? Uh, it doesn't have to, just, you know, okay. fun. Okay. If it is, I mean, it doesn't have to not be a potential episode, <laughs> so it could be. Right. Um, I would like to see what what if like two things I had in my head. If Captain America had like wielded Thor's hammer earlier, mm. or if they or if they had actually gone through with the World War Hulk like uh, storyline, like. Because uh, in Ragnarok, it's hinted that he, you know, he they they kind of use elements of World War Hulk in that in that movie, but you know, they 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 leave, they leave out the part of he was sent there by the Avengers, and then he gets, and then because of something the Avengers did, that he blames them and goes after goes back to Earth to you know conquer it. I just thought of another one. I feel like that's not so much a what if, but more like. What if they actually made World War Hulk? Yeah, they? yeah, that too, that too. Uh, I just got another one. I, I wanted to do like, um, I'm trying to think of the best way to phrase this. <laughs> what if uh, Nick Fury, uh, which eye did he lose? Uh, it's his left eye. I'm pretty sure it's his left eye. Okay. What if Nick Fury lost his right eye? 
<laughs> my God. <laughs> or what if uh, Nick Fury did not trust the cat and get his eye scratched out? <sighs> that, that would actually be a good one. Because I can't. You, but, well, actually, I, I like it. But then at the same time, I don't think it would be that much of a change because he would still be a badass. Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of why I want to see it. It's just like, what if <laughs> this small little detail? And I feel like that's something that you could easily goof on in like a show or movie anyway. Just have the eye patch on the wrong eye. Like, yeah. And, like in the most in movies, it's supposed, to, it's supposed to be his left eye that got, got cut out. But like, but some movies will have it where, oh, they put it over his right eye by mistake. Right. Um. What if Captain Marvel stayed on Earth? Ooh. I was thinking that one actually. Oh, cool. I was, cool. Or actually, I was thinking something similar to that. But yeah. What if? <clears throat> what if the Fantastic Four actually teamed up with Doctor Doom? Which we might get a chance to see that. Uh, I was going to say, did they actually do that in the comics? I feel like they did. Like I mean, like evil version of teaming up, not just teaming up because they have to. Because originally, remember when Doctor Doom originally became Doctor Doom, he was like, he told Reed, and then he was like, "Y'all join me together, we can change the world." And they they refused, and that's why their whole thing started. Yeah. But what if they accepted and just went on this like evil rampage? Like, who's gonna stop them? Right. Who's gonna stop them? Which I think that's some something we could potentially see since the Fantastic Four have a movie coming up in a couple of years. Yeah, that. I mean that would be pretty fantastic. Yes, 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 Hayden. It would. It would be great. Sorry, um, I'll, I'll give you that one. I'll, and I would like to see something, something else with a what if with more th- with Thanos in it too, just because. <laughs> I don't know, man. Because they they kind of hit the nail on that with a lot of those episodes. There's so there's more. There's another story you can tell. There's more they can do, I, but how much more before we get tired of it? Yeah. Sorry, I was on a a subreddit the other day. And I can't remember exactly what it was for, but it it got into a whole thing about about Fantastic Four puns. <laughs> so it was like, um, I don't know, seeing Reed Richards as this that would be a stretch. Yeah, and then yeah. like, you know, I don't I don't see Sue Storm as the Invisible Woman. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, yeah. yeah, but I mean, you know. Yeah, well, uh, I got I got a hot take for you for Human Torch. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what's the thing with what's the thing with Ben? Yeah, I don't know what the thing with Ben is, you know. <laughs> no, it was all of that stuff and it just like kept going. <laughs> but it's like, like yeah. my brain's about to explode. <laughs> um, Matt does not like puns, so please send, find him on social media and send him send him all the puns. All the puns. I don't like bad puns. Send him okay. send him That's good the only puns, kind of puns. puns. Come on. What did you bad say? Puns. Bad puns are the best puns. Yes, yes. No, bad puns irritate me physically. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, so if I had to think of like a more legitimate <laughs> what if scenario, uh, again, I was kind of thinking the one that you said, Josh, what if um, Captain Marvel stayed on Earth? Uh, but Oh gosh, I know I had one. What if Come on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we can't really put this to the MCU because that's you know, it hasn't really been addressed that much anyways. But um in general, what if uh great power did not bring great responsibility? Mm-hmm. so like so spider-man so spider-man but he's a jerk he's a jerk yeah yeah so spider-man 3 as a yeah <laughs> well no just just make just make yeah, peter, spider-man just make peter just an evil like just a selfish evil character yeah like all of his all of his um his all the rogues on his on his, on his rose gallery that are like anti-heroes like make him like like them so that would kind of be um <clears throat> That's kind of just, I guess, how he is when he's infected with the symbiote, when he has the black suit on. Not necessarily. I mean, he gets he gets more abrasive and more aggressive, 
but I don't think he ever turns completely evil. So yeah, it would, but it more, would but be if he was, if he was would, more like Carnage. I was gonna say or, in or that case, more like just a, or more just like a like a villain, like one of his villains that just you know stole and killed yeah. and you know. And again, I was gonna say it would probably be more like he would just run with the he would just go with the black suit. He wouldn't. Oh, yeah. He wouldn't be have the um the moral the morals to you know and the the willpower i guess to remove it and get rid of it he would just kind of stick with that and honestly i think that would be pretty awesome because <laughs> spider-man with the black suit is like way more powerful than venom mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah um and i don't know if either of you I don't know if either of you have ever played the game. I think it was for PlayStation 2. Maybe it may have been more like PS3 and uh, Xbox 360 or actually that sounds more right. Um, Web of Shadows. I never got a chance to play it. I never got a chance to play it, but I wanted to so bad. Yeah, yeah. If yeah, if you can, it's pretty awesome because like you get to make those choices and you basically can be Peter Parker if he decided to give in to the black suit and not give it up. Like one of the endings there, spoilers, it, would you prefer I not mention spoilers? It's fine, it's fine. Go ahead. Yeah, it's, it's been, it's been, game, that game's it's, over what? It's been like 10 years old? over 10 years. Yeah. So in one of the endings, the quote bad ending, he uh, he fully embraces the the suit the black suit and then he ends up saving felicia hardy black cat Mm -hmm. uh, by using the the suit to transform her and keep her alive and save her and he basically ends up taking control of the entire like symbiote army and it takes control of new york city and he basically reigns over that Mm -hmm. over them with uh, black cat that has also been transformed by the symbol. That, that would be a good one. If, what if, what if uh, Felicia and Peter got together? Because I've always been a fan of Black Cat, and it's like Me when you watch the original show, it's like it was right there. You could have just did that, right? I'm I'm all for uh, Felicia over MJ. Team Felicia, I got you. Mm, I can't team Pete. Team uh, Spider Cat. Yeah, <laughs> Spider Cat. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, see, I don't, I don't prefer one over the other, but I just really like Felicia. Like, there was a lot of potential there that should have been utilized, and that they didn't do. Yeah, yeah. But I, they can probably bring. I think she's a Sony character, so I don't know. So we may see something in the future. Getting a black cat together would be cool. I can see. I can definitely. Eddie, see. Eddie and Felicia, that would be dope. I can definitely see that. That would be dope. But that just, you know, we'll see. I'm sure Marvel and Sony are, are cooking some stuff up. You know, yeah. they, they did mention they will be open to working together uh, in the future. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Well, you guys got any final words before we end this one? Nope. Nope. Looking nope. forward to uh, Eternals and uh, No Way Home. It's going to be lit. Um. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how I feel about Eternals yet. It's it's one of those things where it's just like I watch it, but I don't know if I really, you know. It's not one that you you're like racing to the theater to go see. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of like kind of like Black Widow. I was the same way with Black Widow. Yeah, uh, I can I feel that way about so I can feel that way about Shang Chi. Honestly, I still haven't seen it. I mean, I'm yo, sure. yo, dude. All right, go see it. Watch it. I'm please. sure it's gonna be good, but you know, it is one of those that I'm kind of like. Eh. It, you don't have to like be i told people that you don't have to be like a big mcu fan to go watch it you just don't. go watch it because it's a good movie and it has that you know chinese that that asian in, uh uh you know oh does it in, inspiration you know yeah oh does it really yeah yeah, yeah. Chi and the legend of the ten rings has yeah chinese it's, it's, inspiration to it like Matt said, it felt like watching like a live action anime. Yes, that is what it felt like, and I loved it, and I would go see it again. Sorry, and- is it Chinese or is it anime? Like, sorry, sorry. I mean, 
I don't know. There's some there's some fantasy elements in there that I'm not All sure. All right, we're not here to talk about Shang Chi and future <laughs> stuff. We were talking about what if, and I believe we have wrapped our conversation up on that. Okay, okay, but still, go go see it or watch it when it comes out on Disney Plus. Please, it's it's great. I will. I think I, I think you'll 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 like it. You'll like it. But no, nah, no other final words other than what if season two. I can't wait to see it, and. It was a great series, and I hope they keep it up. Yep. Yeah. Again, thank you all for having me on. It was fun. Yeah, no problem. Hopefully, uh, again, we're glad to have you. I hope we can uh, get around to recording again sometime soon. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah. We got, I, I, had some, I had some ideas for some uh, some future episodes. But, um, but yeah, um, yeah, y'all go check us out on social media. Um, uh, uh, what's, what do we have? Uh, we're on YouTube, Apple po- Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Um, uh, Matt's got his uh, social media, his the super the Saiyan Soldier Project. Saiyan uh, Soldier Project at YouTube, SSJ Soldier One Thirty Five on Instagram. All the links are there. Check it out. Please support these guys. They're awesome. <clears throat> we do. They do an amazing job nerding out, and I'm building my story. So y'all go check it out. Awesome. All right. See you guys next time and nerd out. Nerd out. Nerd out.